hi guys i'm back again today with another video and uh, sorry i didn't upload yesterday we didn't have electricity for the whole day i didn't know there was a scheduled uh blackout so i woke up and i was like um electricity where art thou and i checked uh using my mobile data obviously and it was like from nine to 5 p.m there was no electricity and i was like oh okay so i ended up just cleaning but anyways beautiful people that's not the problem the problem is last video we had a repeat which i just found out at the end of the video dumb and then our other video with the guy <laughs> oh i i I need to pay attention to the videos i made a mistake and i'm sorry so if you watch that the one with the european american dream something like that um europe stole my american dream something of that nature um peace on earth okay people do mistakes we are not perfect especially her so this video i'm going to shut my mouth and just pay attention so anyways be Beautiful people, let's go and see the top 15 European countries with the highest quality of life. Okay, we're gonna get like most of the ones that we saw in the other video, like Sweden, Finland, Netherlands, um, Norway, Switzerland. Are we gonna get like most of those places? Anyways, let's get it. What makes a country livable? Ooh, well, quite accent. simply, it is a place that is nice to live. Nice. Would you like to live in a country with lots of crime, high pollution, expensive housing, with low salaries and extreme heat or cold? Probably not. There is no perfect country and quality of life depends completely on your personal circumstances. You may live in a country with a low quality of life score, but have a fantastic job, live in a big house and have a pretty good life. In this video, we will give you our top 15 countries in Europe with the highest quality of life. So without further ado, let's kick off this video with number 15, the United Kingdom. The beauty of the United Kingdom is that it comprises of four different nations. England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. So you essentially have four different cultures, heritage and ways of life. Also speaking the same language with their own dialect and twang. The UK has the fifth largest economy in the world, providing a strong workforce with many booming sectors. The UK often ranks as one of the best countries in the world for doing business and for startups. The education system also ranks as the best in the world, with some of the most prestigious universities being located there. Climate, safety and cost of living do hinder the UK's performance. They aren't all particularly bad, but compared to other countries in Europe, it does let it down. The UK also has some very deprived areas, meaning it ranks no higher than 15th place on our list. Number 14. Estonia. Estonia is one of Europe's most spacious countries. In Estonia, you are never more than 30 minutes drive away from a forest or lake. The living environment is very clean, relaxed and safe. According to the World Health Organization, Estonia has some of the best overall air quality in the entire world. With a population of just 1.3 million, Estonia is a hidden and underrated gem in Eastern Europe. It ranks as the safest country in Europe, scores high on the traffic index, as well as being the fourth least polluted country on the continent. It ranks decently like for cost that. of living and even better for its property price to income ratio. Overall, a pretty nice chilled place to live. Its climate and weak economic power are its biggest drawbacks. Number 13, Italy. Italy ranks above the average in income and wealth, work-life balance, civic engagement, social connections and health status, but below average in housing, well-being, mm. environmental quality, jobs and earnings, personal security, education and skills. One thing the Italians can be proud about is their life expectancy, ranking as the sixth highest in the world and the second highest in Europe. Perhaps this is due to their generally healthy Mediterranean cuisine, alongside 
great climate and an active population. This can backfire, however, as Italy has one of the oldest populations in the world, creating an aging population which seriously impacts the economy and growth potential. Italy is a beautiful country and offers everything from cosmopolitan cities, ancient ruins, and stunning pristine beaches across the Mediterranean. Number 12. Slovenia to begin with, Slovenia is one of the safest countries in the world, therefore the life environment is great. The life in Slovenia is pleasant, with exceptionally low crime rates. In Slovenia you can find almost anything, from mountains to lakes to caves, wild rivers, beautiful clean cities, castles and even the sea. It is a very underrated country that most people often underestimate. Slovenia ranks above the average in job and earnings, housing, health status, social connections, education and skills, work-life balance, environmental quality and personal security. It is only below average in income and wealth, civic engagement and subjective well-being. To no surprise, Slovenia ranks as the fifth most peaceful country in the world. Slovenia is geographically located in a great place. It isn't far from from the Adriatic coast, Mediterranean climate, mountains of the Alps and many other countries with similar or different culture. Number 11. Spain Spain ranks above the average in work-life balance, income and wealth, housing, health status, social connections and personal security, but is below average in civic engagement, the environment quality, education and skills, jobs and earning and subjective well-being. Spain's climate is up there with the best in the world, the south of the country especially which receives Mediterranean Mediterranean pleasant heat year-round, one of the reasons why it makes our list. Spain ranks as the country with the seventh highest life expectancy in the world and the third highest in Europe, sixth best healthcare system and is considered to be a generally affordable country to live in, especially when compared to others on this list. Spain does rank quite low for financial statistics, business openness and corruption levels, which prevents it from placing higher on our list. It is worth noting however that its heritage, history, food and culture is certainly up there with the best in the world. Number 10. Germany The economic powerhouse of Europe. Germany is the largest country in Europe when it comes to economy size and population, excluding Russia which spans across Europe and Asia. Germany is a fantastic country for business, high salaries and quality of life, which doesn't come to a surprise as it is a behemoth in the car and tech industry. In 2019, Germany exported over 140 billion US dollars worth of cars alone, by far the most in the world. Although Germany is a very wealthy and prosperous nation, it is surprisingly cheap to live in, in comparison to many of its European neighbours. Germany doesn't particularly rank super high in any of our metrics other than those relating to business and finance, however it does rank quite steadily across the board. Number 9. Sweden Sweden boasts a high Human Development Index score of 0.93, placing the country in the 7th place in the world rankings. The HDI aims to measure the overall quality of life in a country and is a figure comprised of life expectancy, gross national income and expected years of schooling. Sweden is a wonderful place to live with very kind people, excellent public services and corporate culture that encourages people to have a great work-life balance. It is no surprise that many people decide to move to Scandinavia's largest country to enjoy all things that Sweden has to offer. Sweden ranks as the third least corrupt nation in the world, the fourth least polluted and the fifth highest in Europe for life expectancy. Number 8. The Netherlands The Netherlands ranks top in work-life balance and above the average in jobs and earnings, housing, education, skills, subjective well-being, social connections, personal security, civic engagement, health status and environmental quality. It's fair to say the Netherlands is a great place to live. Apart from ranking as the third happiest in the world, the Netherlands doesn't rank particularly high in any of our metrics but is steady across the board, like Germany. The thing that I personally love about the Dutch the most is their incredible English, at over 90% of the population speaking it fluently. They also speak great German too, as a country which Sometimes helps this relatively small nation to do business with other countries, as English and German are two important languages in the world of business, thus making the Dutch the 13th richest in the world by GDP per capita. 
Number seven, Portugal. Portugal. It is fair to say that Portugal arguably has the best climate in Europe, with Lisbon having the third most sunshine out of any city in Europe. Their winters are relatively mild, with hot but not scorching summers. The westerly wind from the Atlantic often helps to keep it at a pleasant temperature, ranking as the fourth most peaceful country in the world and just missing out on the top 10 for many other metrics. Portugal is also a very affordable place to live and is a top destination for tourists and digital nomads. The quality of life is very high in this Western European nation due to a combination of relaxed laws, low crime and great weather which combine to create a very open and accepting populace. Number I've never thought about Portugal in that sense. I know it exists because I, because I know Portugal because of Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> I think that's the only reason why I even know that country existed. Um, but this is the first time I've ever heard about Portugal like on a top list of something right okay i'm curious i'm actually very curious about portugal now great weather which combined to create a very open and accepting populace number six iceland one of the most unique and undeniably beautiful countries in the world. This northwestern European nation is one of those bucket list countries everyone wants to visit. How is Volcanoes, Iceland's population glaciers, geothermal pools, and the northern lights are a must. But it isn't just great to visit, it's a wonderful place to live as well. Iceland takes the crown as the most peaceful country on earth the second least polluted and the seventh happiest in the world, which is incredible considering their climate isn't the most favourable with some months only seeing four hours of sunshine. The Icelandic people are considered to be some of the friendliest on the planet and at 98% of them speaking English, this makes living there extremely easy oh. if you do too. Number five, Austria. Austria. Austria's capital, Vienna, has historically ranked as the most livable city on earth. It has recently been overthrown by Auckland and has fell down the ranks throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. If the pandemic was never to happen, chances are Vienna would still be challenging for that number one spot. Austria ranks as the sixth most peaceful nation on earth, eighth least polluted, the ninth best healthcare and the best country in the world for the traffic index. Austria is also a stunning country, offering some of the most beautiful scenery in Europe, if not the world. Its central location means it is extremely easy to visit other countries. Mm -hmm. The Mediterranean to the south, Eastern Europe to the east, the Alps to the west, and the economic powerhouse of Germany to its north. Number four, Finland. Often Finland. ranking as the happiest country on earth, it's no surprise that Finland makes our top five. Finland ranks as the fourth best country in the world for the traffic index, the 10th best for healthcare, and officially the least polluted country in the world. These impressive scores also result in Finland being officially the happiest country on earth. Finland's climate is one of its major drawbacks. Its geographical location isn't the greatest either, being in northeastern Europe, bordered by Russia. Its GDP per capita and life expectancy is slightly lower than others on this list, which just stops it from making our top three. Number three, Norway. Norway ranks top in personal security and ranks above the average in subjective well-being, environmental quality, jobs and earnings, income and wealth, education and skills, housing, work-life balance, civic engagement, social connections and health status. Its dramatic scenery and landscapes make it one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Norway ranks as having the seventh highest life expectancy in Europe, along with some impressive stats such as the 11th best healthcare system in the world third least polluted country in the world and the seventh highest GDP per capita on earth. Wow. Norway has by far the highest percentage of new vehicles being electric in the world also, at 74% of car sales in 2020 being electric. In second place is Iceland at 45%. Norway are leading the world in the electric car revolution, which because makes sense considering how heaven, seriously so they take health and sense. pollution. Like many other countries similar to Norway, its climate isn't exactly desirable and it is a very expensive place to live. Number two, Denmark. Denmark. Yet another Scandinavian country on this list. The Scandies are clearly doing something right. If you search for the top 10 countries in the world for the best X, Y and Z, you will repeatedly find Denmark 
ranking as the third most peaceful, the fifth best for healthcare, the eighth least polluted, and the least corrupt nation on earth. Mm. Fair to say, things are looking pretty good for Denmark. Denmark is one of the best countries in the world for work-life balance. It is also an exceptionally well-functioning and family-friendly place to live. One thing that lets Denmark down is that it is considerably expensive, especially when compared to other countries on this list, and although its climate isn't particularly awful, it's not as great as, say, Spain's or Portugal's. And finally, number one. Can you guess which country it is? It is Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland yes, is one of the country. most beautiful countries on my Earth. Country. The <laughs> Alps it. offer some of the most picturesque views our planet has to offer, alongside some of the best skiing, if you're into that. It's no secret that Switzerland is a very wealthy country. Its citizens are paid well and there is plenty of money to be made in this country. Their privacy laws regarding banking have made them notoriously known around the world, allowing very wealthy individuals to store their wealth, without the threat of nosy governments taking a peek in. Switzerland ranks as the sixth richest nation in the world when it comes to GDP Tumblr per capita. Run. It must be noted that the nations that rank higher have much lower populations. Mm. Switzerland ranks as the seventh most peaceful country in the world, the fifth least polluted, the sixth safest, and the second highest in the Human Development Index score, only behind Denmark. One thing that does let Switzerland down is that it is a very expensive country, which does balance out if you have a high salary, but for those working entry-level jobs, it can be challenging. So there we have it, our top 15 countries with the highest quality of life in Europe. If you live in one of these countries, let us know what it is like in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video, remember to drop a like if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing if you loved it. You can always unsubscribe at any time. Thanks again for watching and we will see you very soon in the next video. Yeah, I love the pacing of this video. It was very calm, chilled, and then his voice. So, um, yeah, it's like most of the countries that we do react to are here, as always. Um, but yeah, Switzerland, though. Switzerland. Um, even if I don't live there, I'm just gonna like be there often if I can even afford. Uh, but anyway, so that has been really, really interesting. And also, tomorrow we don't have a video, but we will be back on Monday. So thank you guys for joining, and I will see you then. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. Actually, Monday is Christmas Day. Uh, but enjoy your, you know, vacation. Um, I don't even know why you're watching me on Christmas holiday season. Like, you have a problem if you're watching me on Christmas or Christmas Eve and the holiday season. Yeah, you got some problem. But I like you. Okay, you have a problem, but I like you because we all got problem, right? So anyways, beautiful people, have a great, amazing holiday season. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye.